Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Darren's Notes. I'm Darren. Thank you for joining me. Uh, it's been a pretty wild last three weeks. So uh, we haven't had a podcast like we needed to. And this was part of the purpose and the reason why I wanted to do Darren's Notes to be able to kind of be uh, more up to date with the podcast when we don't have recordings to remind people also that athletes have to deal with the political issues of what we're dealing with right now and because of that there's there comes a point in time where we have to be aware of the things that's going on and so that's why I started Darius Notes so welcome to the second episode. There's three things that I'm going to be talking about today, and I am outside, so excuse the wind. If you hear it in the background, I apologize. But it's all part in doing something different with recordings. But there are three things that I want to briefly talk about real quick. One being Ron DeSantis, the governor of excuse me, the governor of uh, Florida. The second, I want to talk about Kit Rock. And the third one, I want to talk about the 2022 midterms. Now, when we look at all three of these in particular topics, there's one thing that comes out for it to be. And at the end of the day, they're all going to be politics. Now, you would think that Kit Rock is more of, oh, I don't know, musician. Yeah, he is a musician. But he talks a lot about political stuff. And that's part of the reason why he's trending. But the other two, you automatically know. Oh, boom. Politics. Great. So here we go. Let's talk about it a little bit real quick. Let's start with Ron DeSantis. Now, a lot of us know about Ron DeSantis. A lot of us agree with his politics. A lot of us don't. But he was trending on Twitter. And I had to kind of bring it to attention why he is trending on Twitter. He's trending on Twitter for an ad campaign that he put out. And the beginning of it went just like this. And on the eighth day, God looked down on this planet paradise and said, I need a protector. So God made me a fighter. My initial first thought is, wow, do you call this powerful? Nah, not really. You don't call this powerful. You don't call this uh, cute. You don't call this something that can be truthful because all of us are fighters at the end of the day, right? God just made us fighters and he does majority of the leg work, okay? And this is not something that we can put into the Bible because it's a done deal. The Bible is a done deal. Okay. This is why we have to be mindful of the things that we say. Some people are not going to fall for this foolishness. So him saying that is enough to trigger a response from a lot of people saying they can't keep dealing with this. You know, a fighter do not stop lessons from being taught not only about sexual uh, sexual preferences or uh, gender identity or uh, books that they can't read or can read. That's not what freedom is all about. At the end of the day, he signed these laws into he signed these bills into law saying. Don't say gay. And that, that kind of puts me in a frustrated spot because a lot of people can't express. A lot of people can't say how they feel. Now, you go back into, you know, religion. This is what Christians, this is what Catholics, this is what people, majority of, of all uh, religions are, are fighting for to say that some things just should not happen. But at the end of the day, not everybody's going to believe in what we believe in. A lot of people are not going to 
waste their time on something that you know damn well they're not going to spend wasting time on. So why keep going to restrict something that people can't or won't do? Okay. So now you just have to think about it and how, how to be able to, you know, come about and make a, a, a wise decision. Because at the end of the day, there is so much about him, in my personal opinion, that just do not qualify him to be in office. It just don't. So I can understand that a lot of people have their opinions. A lot of people have their reasoning. But you just can't be somebody to think that this is okay. Okay. Everybody has their freedom to be able to do what they need to do, what they want to do, how they want to do it, when they want to do it, without having a law stop them all because they don't understand what freedom is at the end of the day. Second thing I want to briefly talk about is Kid Rock. He said that Oprah's a fraud. Okay. Oprah's a fraud. What Oprah is a fraud for? Apparently, according to the trending Twitter topic, he is blasting him, blasting Oprah for, uh, for uh, endorsing Fetterman over Dr. Oz. Now, when Oprah helped Dr. Oz with his success, it was about him being a doctor. It wasn't about politics. So the working relationship in, in order for them to be successful was all about him being a doctor. It was not about politics. She do not have to endorse him. She don't need to endorse him. What she believes in as a politician don't have absolutely nothing to do with their working relationship as him being successful as a doctor. See, these are the small things that people look at on the bad side versus the good side. You know, Oprah did help him. Who's the credit in that? Ain't nobody giving, giving her credit for that. But I guarantee you she ain't losing no damn sleep over it. I tell you that much. She ain't losing that much sleep about that. She ain't going to lose sleep about people saying, oh, she adores Fetterman over Dr. Oz. She ain't losing sleep at the fact that she believes in what she believes in. She ain't losing sleep over that at the end of the day. So what did she, what did she do? She went with what she believed in, and now people are knocking her for it. Now, Kid Rock is just pretty much, to me, just causing trouble. Okay, cool. Do what you do. But at the end of the day, you wouldn't want nobody making trouble for you, too, for being a Trump supporter, for being somebody that could be just as hateful as Trump, if you want my God honest opinion. But that's none of my business. And the last thing I want to get into real quick, just real quick, is I just want to talk about the 2022 midterm, midterm elections. Now, we all know that this is coming up. It's on Tuesday, and it's definitely a trendy topic. And it's just something to, to kind of just put up real quick. Now, there's a lot of things on the ballot, being democracy, abortions. And I was just talking about this a little while ago. But there's so many things that are on the ballot that we need to pay attention to, that we need to understand what, you know, Republicans and Democrats are trying to secede on. Social Security, you know, I'm concerned about a lot of the things that are on the ballot and what's going to happen, especially mainly with abortions and Social Security. Abortions being that a woman cannot make her own decisions. That bugs me because that's where the whole women's rights come into play. You have to be mindful that a woman can be able to make a decision about her body and about the situation. There is no right or wrong answer at the end of the day because you never know the situation. Sure, there may be some uh, not wise decisions, but at the end of the day, again, we're all not perfect. So you have to understand the situation, the reason why an abortion may have to happen. You know what I mean? It's not about you know, what you believe in. It's not about uh, uh, religion or anything like that. You just have to be mindful of what you're dealing with. You have to be careful with these types of ordeals. And that bugs me. And a lot of people are for that, to say that there should be no abortions. If there was no abortions, you can only imagine, and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. You can only imagine how many politicians are going to try to cover it up anyway and still try to abort when they make a mistake? Okay. That's the biggest thing to remember. There, there is a lot of issues that are going on that most people do not understand. 
a lot of these politicians are just going out because they just desperate or they find somebody attractive and they just wish to just do what they do and want to do and think they're privileged and not going to get in trouble but want to hold everybody else accountable when they should be being held accountable on their own social security is another thing as much as we worked hard for social security why take that away from us why take it away for so many people that has especially for my ancestors that has really worked so hard on bending knee every backache hands feet every bone in your body that you work so hard for why would you take social security away so i always wondered that why would you do that there's a lot of things on the ballot for the 2022 midterm elections think about it be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of other people's thoughts but also at the same time be educated about it before it start running off with your mouth about things that you have no business running your mouth about especially if you're not in a place to say it thank you for watching i'm your host darren watts uh catch me next time as i go into episode three trending topics as always remember that athletes have to deal with this very same thing every single day don't kid yourself if you don't think an athlete has to deal with these issues. Next week, well, next time, we'll talk more about the different trending topics that affects not only public figures, athletes, but people like us. Thanks for listening.